Um, hello, good afternoon. We're here at the Stubai Cup and we're here on the Dudek stand because we're talking about this glider, which is the Hike and Cruise. So can you introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Wojtek Dobanski and I am co-owner of Dudek Paragliders. Okay, and how has this morning been for you so far? Uh, very nice, a little bit cold, uh, very exciting because we could see our gliders flown uh, by the cross-country testing team. Cool. Um, and the Hike and Cruise, it's an interesting concept. We just flew it. We just flew from the top. A uh, very agile, nimble glider. Tell us what's different about this glider to other uh, EMBs. The, the main difference is that it is looking like the beginner glider if you look from the bottom, but looks like a more advanced BC glider, high B, low C glider if you look on the top. Uh, it seems at first as a strange combination, but it brings some benefits. The main benefit is that we could reduce the weight. So we have really light glider because size 22, this, the middle one, weighs uh, 2.5 kilo. 2.6 kilo, 2.56 kilo. Uh, also, uh, because uh, the number of reefs inside is being reduced, the air propagation inside is easier. Mm -hmm. And this results in a higher uh, safety uh, rank, higher I mean that the wing is safer. So all in all you have the light wing uh, uh, that is capable of flying uh, cross country, you know, the flights 100 kilometers is not surprising. Uh, feeling that, uh, that that safety is, is with you. So how many cells on the bottom? 21. 21. And on the top? 65. Okay, so how did you come up with that idea? Uh, we were searching for a more performance, but not paid uh, by the higher weight of the wing. Usually you get better performance having more cells because okay. each rib in, improves the, the top surface, but it generates the, the weight. So we, uh, knowing that uh, the top surface is more crucial, more important for aerodynamics than the bottom surface, we are thinking about the solution that will increase the number of cells on top, but we will not increase or even reduce the number of cells on the bottom. And exploring this idea using already known system like V supports, V ribs, etc., we created this uh, this solution. And so, what's the feeling like in the air? What does it do to the gl how the glider feels in the air when you fly? The glider is uh, the, the aspect ratio of 5.6 gives to the pilot uh, the full control of the wing. This is uh, agile wing, uh, nicely penetrating the the air. Uh, it is capable of flying slow, so in the thermal conditions, it is easier to center small uh, small lifts. And this certification he, uh, it got, it is A and B, A for the biggest size, 25, and for the medium, 22, and uh, small. 19, it is uh, uh, B category and only one maneuver is. Um, so, B. what sort of pilot is going to love this wing? Uh, despite the low uh, requirement, uh, the, the, the ENAB uh, ranking, it is not for beginners. It might look like we are even tempted to have it all A uh, homologated and it was possible making some modification, but this modification will spoil a little bit the, the, the pleasure of flying and it will send the wrong message to pilots that, hey guys, this is a glider, I just finished school, this is a glider for me. No, we don't want such part. This is wing for for intermediate pilots or those who are just transferring from you know beginners to, to intermediate pilots because the aspect ratio of 5.6 is still uh, demanding at least aware pilot who is not uh, making things more complicated if something has happened mm -hmm. but the, this is still safe wing cool all right thank you very much thank you very much